Welcome back. We are once again looking at chain link. So if you guys could do me a favor and pretend that you're Mike Tyson and or Chris Brown and smash the thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. And if you're feeling extra spicy, don't forget to share. Anyway, thank you in advance, but getting into the chain link chart. So what we are seeing right now is honestly like a whole lot of nothing well not a whole lot of nothing but uh overall we are still seeing bullish structure form where we are making higher highs higher lows yada 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 and clearly this current trend at least for the daily time frame i would say in regards to specifically like this area is that you are undoubtedly in the uptrend now the question is did we top out or not and well what i have to say to that is i think if we do it will be at about six dollars 75 cents but if we do actually just look at the fib level that we have over here which is 382 at six dollars 54 cents we actually did just get uh, pretty much rejected at that uh we closed above it one day next day we actually closed above it the next day as well but then following from there we got uh, sent down uh, as of right now, we did still make that higher low. So coming back on up, what could we be looking for? Let's honestly really do this. So you did. Uh, I don't want to do that. So um, looking at this fib, we did go slightly through the 618 for the most part, but we do seem to be finding a bounce from there. So we need to see really open enclosures above $6.33. Upon doing so, that gets us above the 382, yada, yada, yada. Should that end up happening? Or even if we were to go up, we don't get that. We come back down, back test the 50 essentially. And then we can have something like this happen essentially as well which from that point on if we do end up making a new high from here what we also would be looking for next uh i would mainly go with the 382 right here but you could be looking for uh, i would skip over the 50 but uh other than that other than 382 i'd look for the 618 618 is at seven dollars 21 cents and the 382 once again is at seven dollars flat essentially because mainly that also coincides with the 5 level on our larger fib. Which the 5 level on the larger fib that puts us at... Um, doo -doo. That puts us at $7.02. Uh, from there, I do think this is our bottom. I, I do think that actually uh, with... Our like analysis overall that we were saying that chain link has been accumulating i think this was our spring uh i 100 do think that this was our spring and that was our phase c and where we are right now actually in relation to wyckoff is that we are about to be we should if i am not mistaken i want to say we are about to be exiting your phase c however the kind of like stipulation to this is this run-up could just be that first run-up from the low of the spring where we would go back down and we still have to do like those two like humps essentially but overall you kind of get what i'm saying which if that were the case then then we'd probably go back down a good bit but either way that'd still be phenomenal because we're still essentially in accumulation zone meaning We've been accumulating for almost a year when we do go we're probably just gonna go um there's probably gonna just go straight to the moon and anyone holding chain link is probably gonna be super happy so um yeah so other than that i guess that's really about it um i guess the last thing here we can do is i swear that always friggin does this all right anyway um, the last thing that we can necessarily look at right here is at least most immediately the volume has picked up like a little bit and then if we were to look at this as a C or a spring what would that entail just um, if you're unaware so you test large operators test the market for supply throughout the TR as in your springs a key point during price advance 
if considerable supply emerges on the test, the market is often not ready to be marked up. A spring is often followed by one or more tests. A successful test indicating that further price increase will follow typically makes a higher low on lesser volume. So did we have that? I do think so, actually. Yeah, I do think it was actually less of volume. That's crazy. Anyway, that's your for your test. And then for your phase, which is phase C, the phase C of the stock price goes through a decisive test of remaining supply, allowing smart money operators to ascertain whether the stock is ready to be marked up. As noted, a spring is price move that bo moves below the support level of the trading range established in phase a and b this quickly reverses and moves back into the trading range an example of this would be a bear trap because it drops below the support appears signal resumption of downtrend and in reality this just marks the beginning of a new uptrend trapping late sellers bears white calls method blah 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 low volume spring or supply represents buy spring or shakeout provided by a high probability of trading opportunity a low volume spring or low volume test shakeout indicates the stock is likely ready to be moved up this is good to initiate a at least a partial long now like what did we say <laughs> this is for over even the last year hold on let me try and get this all nice this is low volume. This is a like low volume like capitulation, if you will. So um, I know this video is already a little bit long, but my apologies. Anyway, other than that, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Adios, muchachos.